I won't talk too long before I get right into the video coverage of it because I have never been to Gen Con, Gen Con before, uh, at least maybe once as a little child when it was in Milwaukee. And I had a moment where on the second day I was there, uh, a lot of people told me a lot that, that, that they worked really hard on the museum. And there were a lot of donators that uh, made that museum happen. And when I made my way over there to shoot it, um, I didn't really know what I was in for. And it didn't take long for me to be overwhelmed by the emotion that people in this museum were feeling. Uh, I saw people crying. Um, uh, there were like tears of, of um, joy and sadness, but also like tears of seeing a, a friend that you hadn't seen in a really long time. And it really solidified uh, just how much gaming um, and, and Gen Con, the convention specifically, meant to a lot of people. Uh, not just one or two people, but entire families, husbands and wives and, and married couples uh, gripping their hands really tightly as they looked at um, maybe the 10th anniversary of Gen Con uh, pamphlet or a game from the 60s or 70s that they or maybe their parents played that they used to play when they were kids. And it was a really moving experience for me. It really um, was, was powerful uh, to kind of wander around and, and see games like D&D, &D, strategy games, war games from the 1960s. And here we are in nearly 2020, right? I mean, 2017. Um, I tried to capture what I could. Um, Gosh, I could have spent an hour in there by myself and really put some things together, but even I was swept away, and they had a collection of, of magic cards through history. They had just old-time games that I remember seeing, that I remember playing. They had new games, record-setting games like Exploding Kittens, which set records on Kickstarter. And, and you may have to pause a few times as you go through this video, um, I tried to do the best I could. Um, maybe maybe next year we'll uh, be able to get some uh, press access, but I think uh, it's important and it's it's something that I really want to share with all of you and, and that's why I'm actually uh, doing a double upload today because uh, I just thought this was this was the most important part of my trip. Uh, the most important part of the four days I spent in Indianapolis. And it sent me back with a totally new perspective and respect for the game. 